we're at a facility in the city of Brisbane that will allow us, Andrew, to use science, science. to show just how well timber stacks up. Wood, it's good, it's strong. But unless we compare it to something, we're not going to know just how strong it really is. Okay, this is steel and it's seems, very strong. Seems very strong indeed, doesn't it? But it is also very heavy. So let's put it to the test and yes. see whether steel is in fact the nemesis of timber. So into the machine goes the steel rod and after a few minutes it fails. All right, so here is our metal bar, and it yes. was able to withstand a force of about 110 kilos before it began to bend. Yes, it did. Now, this bit of timber weighs exactly the same as that steel bar, so that's what we're going to start testing, and we'll yep. see what sort of load it can take, and we'll gradually work down size in timber, and we will come up with a conclusion, a result, a hypothesis. What's a hypothesis? I don't know. I'm a mad scientist. Coming up to 450 kilos, Nick. Oh, bang. 700 kilos. The steel was, what, 110 and it bent the timber at the same mass 700 kilos before it went crack. It's nature's special gift. So out of all the timber, out of all the construction products in the marketplace, timber is essentially the only one that doesn't leave a, a hole in the ground. It's a sustainable building product. It's reusable. It's recyclable. It's a carbon store. It's lightweight. Very, very strong strength to weight ratios. Wood, naturally better.